Hi, I'm Kelly. Here in Macon, we are surrounded by beautiful, impressive architecture, but there is nowhere more impressive than the Hay House. Can you give us a little history about this wonderful house? The Hay House was constructed between 1855 and 1859. It was built by William Butler Johnston and his wife, Anne Tracy Johnston. Mr. Johnston engaged the services of a New York architect, Thomas Thomas. It was done at the end of 1859, and the Johnstons moved in first week of January, 1860. Interesting timing, that was 13 months before the outbreak of the Civil War. The house at the time of its building it was the finest house in America in terms of technology. Equipped with a very sophisticated ventilation system, a speaker tube system, the first house in Georgia to be equipped with hot and cold running water, the first house in Georgia to be lit by gas. What truly sets this house apart among the other historical gems that we have architecturally in Macon and in the South? It's Italian Renaissance architecture, very unusual for the mid-1800s anywhere in the South. The house is known as the Palace of the South. It tells the history of all the three families who lived here over 102 years, and we interpret the house, various rooms, showing how each of the three families might have lived here. Thank you, Ennis, for letting us come in and view this beautiful, beautiful house. And I'm going to take my own time now and explore this house myself. And you do that, and the rest of you come see us in person or go take a look at hayhousemecon.org. I had such an amazing time here at the Hay House and I learned so many wonderful things about this magnificent home and the fact that it's in my backyard here in Macon, Georgia, is just the icing on top. When you visit Macon, make sure you put the Hay House on your Macon playlist. Take it away, Jeffrey. Georgia on my mind, Georgia.